Hello and welcome to Donna is Playing Paper. Whether this is your first or second video, or you've watched all 131, you are welcome here. I've got a fun set of three cards for you today, including a very disobedient background. You'll see the results of that at the end of the video. I usually start my card sets with one stamp or die as inspiration, and today I have this little bird builder duo. I'm going to use a sheet of paper from the Rainbow Garden Basics set. You can cut this little bird builder die apart and fussy cut each of the pieces, but I'm not very good at keeping track of my dies. So I've kept it as one piece and I'm cutting from various places on the paper a range of birds and their wings. I even cut a few more birds from this sheet even though it looks finished already. I then had a little play with the birds. Wings up, wings down, wings forward or back. I'm using this sea foam shimmer cardstock. I hope you can catch the shimmer on it here because I want a nice restful look for my cards today. And I'm going to use this Card Creator One die to cut with white and with the sea foam some window frames for my birds to fly out of. I glued them together with one dot of glue on the front and one at the back. And the only thing I was careful of is to put my wing on the back so that it wouldn't show through any of the holes in the bird. We all know how to glue. So while I'm constructing these cards, I thought I'd give you a little bit of a life update. As many of you know, I've gone back to university and I'm studying for my Masters in Translation and Interpreting. Japanese is my language and I've just come back from living in Japan for five years and so you would think that it would be easy. However, as I've studied, it's been apparent to me that my utter disinterest in international political affairs has come back to bite me. And I'm finding myself having to research an awful lot of things in English as well as in Japanese. So I'm working very, very hard at the moment. I'm absolutely loving being able to study. I just love learning. But some days I really question my life choices. Here's our finished card. You can see all of the dimension. I stuck these birds up with some little foam dots in front of and behind where those holes are so that you can't see any of the adhesive underneath. The second card is very similar, only this time we'll add a sentiment to one of those windows and I've chosen just two blue birds for a more monochromatic card. I love the way that that pattern paper just gives some life to the birds, even though they're all blue. I use VersaFine Onyx Black ink for my sentiments whenever I can because it's a beautiful, slick, rich black. You can see here how I've added those tiny foam dots to the back of the birds. And then we won't spend any time at all putting this card together because it really is so similar to the last one. I think this design would make a really nice set of little note cards for a gift with a different sentiment in each of those bottom left squares. Next we have the card that almost didn't make it to the video. I hardly ever wash my ink blending brushes, but I decided to give them all a big wash and the result was brushes that I just did not recognize. They behaved so differently to usual that the background that I was making was an absolute mess. No matter how many times I tried to fix it, it was just swirly and yuck. So I started to try to work out ways to fix it. One of my favorite ways is to spatter water, but I ended up with a great big blob at the top. And so taking my cue from the Queen of Hearts, from Alice in Wonderland, I said, off with its head. And then to put as many birds as I could fit on top to try to hide the background while still having that beautiful vibrant color. I love a little pop of black on my light and bright cards. And so I'm going to give this ink blended background a very fine black border. I will adhere that directly to my paper and then pop those birds up once again with foam tape, one piece at the front and one piece at the back. I played with a few different ways of doing that and I ended up deciding to put the birds above the colour that was the most similar to the colour of the bird. I tried it the opposite way and that looked good too, but in the end I went with this. My sentiment for this card and the earlier card come from this Happy Birthday sentiment set. And for the black sentiments, I love to go around the outside with a Memento Tuxedo black marker so that you can't see the white core of the card. So here it is my very disobedient background, and then the card that resulted from it. I hope that you're having a wonderful day, 
and I will be back soon with some more cards. Don't forget that while I'm so busy, not every card is making it to YouTube. And so you can see my creations at DonnaDoll74 on Instagram and also on my blog, Donna is Playing Paper. There are more cards there than you'll find on the YouTube channel because a video takes a long time to make and I need to get back to studying theory of translation. Have a wonderful day everybody. Feel free to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this and you'd like to see more. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.